New York this week only because I need my eyebrows done properly. <laughs> again <laughs> my tea it is but i am in my thinking spot this is where all of my great ideas come to fruition so and i'm having my trusty coffee while i'm doing it i've been up for about maybe an hour maybe about an hour, about an hour. and yes juju <clears throat> what is it? It's my puffer fish. I have a dead puffer fish in my room. And if I touch it, I'm going to Juju, die. I'm recording and you're telling me about a dead puffer fish in your room. Oh, sorry. Well, it's not at my house. That's at your daddy's house. <laughs> All right, but can I finish recording real quick? Thank you. I was just giving, you know, my mind thoughts. See, this is why I can't record with him here because my son likes to talk to me about everything. Any, he's like me. Anything that comes to mind just pops up. Ooh, Mom, do you know the Titanic sank? I'm like, Lord, who don't know? But anyway, I'm in my thinking space. I'm thinking, thinking. And I know my vlogs have been a little bit boring, but it's okay. Um. I'm just trying to get everything together and it don't happen overnight and I know I need to do a couple of photo shoots I'm kind of thinking that I'm gonna do some myself here because I have the equipment to do the photo shoots now myself I feel like if you're gonna do something or if you want something done you got to do it your damn self like I see a lot of good work out there a lot of good people who are um doing photo shoots and taking pictures and stuff like that and i do have some appointments booked with you know a few people but i have a tendency of not showing up to those photo shoots i don't know what it is on those particular days i just i be amped the day before like yeah i'm gonna get up i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna do my hair and then i get up the next day and it's like oh i don't feel so pretty <laughs> like mm -mm, you don't you don't you don't look so good Ooh. stop see like right now I wouldn't take pictures because see how this is right here. This is me stressed. This is my stressed look. I'm letting you guys like really into like the real me. Like this is what I look like when I'm stressed out. Like when it's time for all the bills to be due, the rent and everything. And like I pay everything all at once. So um, that's a big chunk of change in my pocket every month. And I'm cheap and it hurts. I don't like it. I don't like paying bills. But who the fuck did? So yeah, that stresses me a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck it is, but it's just like, yeah, here you go. Here, here you go. And then here, here you go. And I still got to pay his father too. So it's just like, ah. But I don't think it's ever going to matter. How much money I have as to me giving people money like if I'm giving someone money out of the kindness of my heart and it's helping them I don't know if for some reason I'm okay with that but when I'm giving someone money for something for myself I don't know that shit bothers me a bit I need somebody else to pay that <laughs> I have to call one of my bulls but um oh damn the coffee and the rants be real but no but this is like really an insight into like my thoughts like a lot of people be like what the fuck be going on in your mind if only you know what goes on in my mind like i want to get i want to get beautified this week i want to um i'm gonna do well i'm gonna do it for me and my daughter i'm gonna do our hair um our nails we might go get our feet done but knowing me and her both we're probably gonna put on press-ons because the press-ons be perfect and we just come to find out when we go to these nail shops, y'all just be throwing any old fucking things on our nails. And I don't like that. And we're both real picky because I'll stop them in the middle of doing my nails. Like, hey, 
Hold up. You fucking up my nails. I want my nails to look good. And plus now it costs like a hundred dollars to get some goddamn acrylic nails or some um we call it gel nails. I'm just like, okay. I don't know. But I just I don't see myself paying you that much money for something that look fucked up and then it's falling off a couple of days later, like a nail would just fall off. Like, okay, yeah, why the fuck did you, you know charge me top dollar and you don't you know, use some generic shit upon my nails. It don't work with me. But we still gonna do it though. I might go, you know what? I'm sorry. When it comes to like my beauty days, I love to go to New York. Like I go to this mall in Queens. Um, someone showed me this mall in Queens and I've been going there ever since to get like my eyebrows done, my eyebrows tinted. I don't let them do my lashes anymore because as you can see, I don't fucking have any. <laughs> but yeah. Might be a little crushed in my eye too, you know. And I wipe my face, but you know sometimes that shit just poof, right back there. Um, yeah. I might have to go to New York and get this shit done. Cause I need I need these on point. Like if I'm gonna have a photo shoot, this 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 right here has to be on point. Cause this right here should not be the main focal point. Like see just maybe I should do a bang too. Let me do a bang this photo shoot. Yeah. Yeah, cover up, forehead. <laughs> I don't need no more of this. But yeah, so we're gonna do a photo shoot this week in between work days. Um, and I have all of this t-shirt printing stuff that I bought for when I was running, um, doing campaign for a city council. <laughs> And I haven't touched that shit since. So it's like that was a whole waste of five hundred dollars, and I can't be wasting no money. So we got to figure out something to do with this T-shirt printing stuff. So what I think is, is I probably put in a bulk order of some T-shirts, female T-shirts. Um, male, I'll have um, my people's from Delaware. I'll have them do y'all T-shirts, but I'll do the female T-shirts. And um get something up on there and I'm gonna sell it of course because I'm, I'm paying for it you know I gotta make a return on my profit um well on my payment I ain't nobody in their right fucking mind gonna buy some shit and then give away free not me anyway but ain't nobody giving me nothing for free and none of y'all anyway not yet because once I build my following up on YouTube, I do expect people to mail their products in to me, especially Black-owned businesses. Mail your products in. I'm going to get a P.O. box so you guys can mail it in to me. And I can, you know, broadcast it all over YouTube. And it's funny because I still have not yet put any promotions on my YouTube. <coughs> I'm rocking this YouTube out with no promotions. The only thing I'm doing is posting it on Instagram. And on Facebook, I see some of the videos get more views than others. I see the the the, the Christmas, uh, the Vlogmas. Eh, mm. Mm. It's a hair on my shit. What's on my lip? Not doing very well, so I might throw a campaign on those, just so we can um get a boost on that. Cause the other videos were doing fine. But I think it's once I started posting every day, people are like, okay, well, I can just watch it later. And I know it's a lot of people, like, if I see 10 new views on an old video, it's like they, which, thank you, I appreciate you guys. You're watching it in sequence. Like, you're just like, you're going like, okay, well, this one's first, this one's second, this one's third. And then you watch it all the way to the last um, video that I put out. So, thank you guys, the ones who are doing that. They're doing the um, binge watching of Keys, Life of Keys Boston. I thank you guys and um we plan to grow this channel to the fullest um i have my daughter helping me out she's helping me out on the back end and on the front end um actually on camera too um with promoting to her friends and you know getting a younger base because i have an older following which is not really youtube savvy like, we might watch some videos on YouTube, but we don't watch YouTubers. The younger people watch YouTubers. And I noticed that 
when I look into my analytics, uh, analytics, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Y'all know how I do it. Um, I noticed that it's from 25 to 60 that's watching my YouTube. And I think that's why it's kind of fun. I need them people to watch too. So she's jumping in and helping me out there. And then we're going to push her YouTube channel out too. So I'm, I'm getting her ready. I'm getting her prepared for it. So that's coming. My baby's coming out with YouTube. I'm so proud of her. Like, I'm so proud of her because, you know, a lot of people know that, you know, she suffers from depression. As do I do. So we both do. She gets it from me, I guess. And, um... And she's she's breaking down those walls and she's she's breaking through that barrier of oh my god they might think this of me and i'm teaching her don't give a fuck because people are going to judge you regardless whether you're right you're wrong whether you look good that day whether you look bad that day whether you come on camera looking like this like i get people in my inbox like um, Keys, why are you going on YouTube looking like that? Because this is me. This is who I wake up to. This is how my hair looks when I wake up. My hair don't look. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this, this no glam session at 5:20 a.m. Ten minutes before I wake the fuck up. This, there's no glam session. This is raw footage. This is me. This is who it is. And I'm teaching her that that is okay. It's okay. It's okay to be you. It's okay to be comfortable in your skin. It's okay to love yourself. Like a lot of um, things that I have planned for this channel is to teach people self-love. It went out on me. But as I was saying, for years, I didn't, I don't feel like I loved myself. I loved everyone else around me because I didn't know how to love myself. So I technically really couldn't love the people around me because I didn't know how to love me. So I taught myself self-love. Love me, put me first. Not always, but most of the time. I have to, because if I don't love me, I'm gonna love you. So I'm teaching her the same, and she's 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 doing it. Y'all see her? She's gradually coming into it. She still has her days where it's just like, oh, I don't feel, I don't feel pretty enough to be on camera. I'm gonna break her out of that. I'm gonna show her better, and then. She also, she does not want me to have the lipo surgery. She's like, mom, you are fine the way you are. Why would you promote and teach people self-love but not be comfortable with who you are? Because she was like, that's what you will be showing people. And I'm just like, that's not what I want to show people. Like, I am comfortable <clears throat> with who I am. I just don't like the fact that, you know, <laughs> four kids later, I got a little bit of a stomach. But I can work with it. I can work with it until I figure it out. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I have to. I have to show her better. Like, sometimes I think us as parents, we don't listen to what these kids are telling us. And and I was one of those parents. Like, I wasn't listening to them. I was like, yeah, 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 whatever. Excuse me. Like, you're just a kid. You don't know the fucking thing. You know what the fuck you're talking about. And the truth is, these kids these days know more than we know. <laughs> but that's my rant for this morning. And it is 11 o'clock. And I am behind, behind, behind. But I had a rough night last night. I ain't really had no way to sleep. <laughs> Juju came up in here and just stole my whole bed. Him and the dog. I'm going to put a clip in. I'm just like, I'm sorry. I was half asleep. And then I figured, hold on, I'm on my phone. I, I got this weird notion, like, why can't I move over anywhere? Look at this shit. Let me see if I can get him. Now, where the hell? I'm not supposed to sleep. You're supposed to be watching a movie. It was in here watching a movie. And the next thing I know, everybody's sleep. I'm just like, what in the world? I'm trying to move without falling off the darn bed. I'm like, all oh, that space up there. And 
I just, I can't see now. Hold on, let me go on my snap and see if I can get some light. Okay, there we go. I do believe you can see me now. Now you see this shit? Look at Look at this. Look at this. I'm about to go lay in the back room. We were supposed to only just be watching a movie. I don't know how the movie turned into him and his dog in my bed sleep like this. I mean, real. Hardcore sleeper. Look at this shit. The light ain't even fucking with us. Hello? She trying to hit me. Look at this one. I don't know how we got to this moment, but I am about to really go. I'm a bit. Look, I don't even have anywhere to lay. Like, this is me. This is the edge of the bed. Me, the dog. I just want some sleep. Oh, God. I don't know how this happened. <laughs> gonna lay in my bed and sleep like this and she's and put herself under the covers <sighs> clip of them in there from last night they stole my whole fucking bed they stole the whole damn bed but recap that's over um this is day 12 of vlogmas i'm getting it. i'm fighting through with them you know but I'm getting through it. I'm getting through it. So we're going to start the t-shirt thing. That's only for the channel for, you know, for us, for um, Life of Peace Boston. I'm going to put something together. Have artists put like a cartoon character together of us doing something stupid. Put that on t-shirts and put that out there. We'll probably should sell the t-shirts. I mean, depending on what I pay for them in bulk, probably 10 to $15 per t-shirt. So not bad. <laughs> this ain't highway robbery here. We ain't trying to, you know, sell t-shirts for $100 like we celebrities and some shit. That ain't, that ain't happening. And it's funny because somebody asked me, like, well, what happens when you blow up and then everything jumps off? And then, you know, we know you're going to start your own clothing line because I've been wanting to do that for years. For years I've been wanting to do that. Um, it's like, where would you sell your clothing line? Walmart. <laughs> At Walmart. I'm for the people, not against the people, I'm for the people. So, yeah, you wouldn't find my shit in Saks Fifth. <laughs> you find it in Walmart, where I shop. I don't even shop at Target, but you know what? I might have to do some shopping at Target because <laughs> I noticed that the prices at Walmart have went up. But like I said, let me drink my coffee. Let me start my day. Let me get dressed. Let me get Juju ready. We have to, I have to drive back into Boston, drop him off. Uh, but that's not till later on today. So I think I'm probably going to go out and drive for a couple hours because I don't have to work today. Yeah, I'm going to go drive for a few hours just to. I'm going to grab my tree from my mom's house tonight. So y'all might see us putting the tree together tomorrow. That vlog might come out tomorrow night. So I'm going to put the tree together. I don't know where I'm going to put the tree at though. Because my room is in the front. The living room is in the middle. Juju, what do you think we what do you think we should put the tree? In the corner? There's no windows. Can't nobody see it. <laughs> Over there. He's like. You put it usually in the back room. I was thinking I could probably make some space in my room and put but I don't want no fucking tree in my bedroom. I mean, that's different. But that would be the only unless I just for um but that would be the only, unless I just for, um, 
for Christmas, I could just move my room into the living room because it's just the room over, and then make the front. Then I, I no, 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 because then everybody walking through my motherfucking room. Mm -mm. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Well, I think it's safe to say that the is one of I don't know where the tree gonna go, but we gonna figure it out. So yeah. So I may not vlog anymore for today. This is just kind of like letting you guys know what we're gonna be doing. Uh, what's on my mind, what my thoughts are. I haven't even got pretty fired yet. <laughs> Don't make me pop out on you, Nichols. I'll pop out. Yeah. <laughs> I know I was supposed to been off this vlog like a whole five minutes ago, right? But uh, I'm just, just trying to make sure that I get everything out that I had intended to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so t-shirts, uh, a photo shoot this week. Um... Might have to go to New York to get beautified. Not even might. I'm going to New York this week only because I need my eyebrows done properly and I need them tinted. And I'm gonna re-dye my hair because I can see some of the blonde. It's 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 sneaking back out. So I'm gonna re-dye my hair black and um, do my hair before I go to New York. <laughs> New York here I come. I'm coming to get prettified. Yep. I'm going to New York so I can be beautiful again. See? See the difference in just, yeah. Because you guys can't really see what my eyebrows look like. All you see is my fell head. <laughs> I'm going to cover that up. Look. <laughs> and it didn't work. But anyway, um, so... See, they just look. Hmm. Yeah. We going to New York. Get the eyebrows done. And um, I get an outfit from New York too because I didn't order anything. No. Don't let her throw up on my bed. Put her on the floor. I'm like, hmm. but yeah. I'm going to New York, get the eyebrows on. I'm gonna get hers tinted because, well, I'll get hers started too and get my daughter's tinted because she's gonna take pictures too. So, and I hope y'all see my daughter. She's slaying it on Instagram. She's slaying. <laughs> my baby is beautiful. I've been telling her for years. She just be a model. She just has, I don't know, it's something from her dad's side of the family. Like they just have that, that perfect, you know. Like, no matter how they angle their face, it's just like this perfect, like, silhouette for a picture. So, <sighs> between me and you, I'm going to trick her into doing it. She going to model. Don't worry about it. Y'all just watch it. Watch how I pull this off over the next year. <laughs> I swear, I be having some mastermind plans. I just don't be following through with that shit. But now I am. Y'all gonna hate me when I get focused. Now I'm fo well, when I cannot get focused, but now that I'm focused, but not, I'm not just only focused on what the path has to be to get to where I need to go. I'm determined and I have trained myself <laughs> to get shit done. So that's what we doing. We getting shit done around here. And now let me go get this hair done and get some clothes on. <laughs>